brothers and sisters of the light, fellow earth angels, I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another message from Anne and the Angels for October 30th, 2021. And the title of this message is Delight, Not Fright. And they begin, my dear friends, we love you so very much. As many of you celebrate your holiday of Halloween, we love the fact that you are taking things that might otherwise be considered frightening and instead lightening them up. From our view of reality, you have nothing to fear at all because you are and always will be in control of your own vibration and therefore in control of your experience of reality. Love wants to flow, and as we expressed last week, you either allow it or pinch off its supply. For example, there are indeed ghosts who are souls that don't believe that love is real, even when the light appears for them. They stay in a vibration between heaven and earth, often harmlessly wandering about, but sometimes rather angrily. You wouldn't fear an angry tantrum throwing two-year-old dear ones, and you need not fear anyone, living or deceased, who is living in an unpleasant and pinched-off version of their own reality. What if, instead of being afraid, you were like a parrot looking at their adorable two-year-old who is, in a given moment, unhappy and screaming? Like that parrot, you might feel some irritation, but you would also feel compassion for those in your world, living or dead, who are angry and scared as well. What if you could see the innocent child within them and pray that they feel safe and secure in God's love? What if, instead of fearing your ghosts, living, dead, or even the ghosts of your own past, you were to pray for them to know only love? Then, dear ones, those scary beings and things on your planet would only be as powerful as your cute little Halloween ghosts, whom you don't take very seriously at all. If you were to remove the power you give your problems, you would unflow the block of love waiting to help you solve them. Right now, you could say that there is a tug of war between love and what you call evil on your planet. Evil, dear ones, is simply live in reverse. Evil is that which doesn't realize that it is connected to an endless stream of love that helps it live. As a result, it attempts to go about life backward, grabbing resources, money, power, and energy from others because it has pinched off its own supply chain to love's endless flow. You need not fear evil. You need not give it any more power than your Halloween figures. You need not even focus upon it. In fact, the less energy you give to that which you call evil, the more energy you are giving to love. In a vibration of love, dear friends, and she has in parentheses, though you walk in the shadow of the valley of darkness, you will fear no evil. In the greater understanding of reality, there is nothing but love. Your experience of this greater reality depends on you. You either let love flow into your life or you block love's endless supply. There are those who let love flow into their lives as much as possible by focusing on kind, loving, soothing, comforting, inspiring thoughts and actions. There are those who pinch off their experience of love supply by focusing on anger, fear, sadness, and other unpleasant feelings or situations. Most of you go back and forth between the two, and that is okay. You are learning to unblock your supply as you move through life. You are learning to reach for thoughts that feel good and focus on things and situations that feel good. You are learning to find good feelings even when the external world doesn't make it easy. When you feel good, your supply chain from love source is unblocked and flowing easily. When you feel bad... To some degree, you're pitching off the endless flow of love. Your feelings are your guide. Dear ones, your connection to the endless supply of love grants you freedom from the influences of what you call evil. Freedom from the influences of those who operate from experience of pinching off their own supply. Your connection to the endless supply of love grants you immunity, abundance, grace, joy, and ease. There is nothing more important in your lives right now than your connection to the endless supply of love from Source. 
If you have a problem, stop spinning with it. Sit, breathe, receive your love. Focus on how the solution would feel. Have faith, dear ones, you are loved. The supply is there. Unblock it by focusing on the good that is waiting to flow to you. Allow for it. Stop getting in God's way, as we like to say. If someone has triggered painful feelings within you, although it is difficult, try not to use their behavior as an excuse to disconnect yourself from the endless supply of love. When others are unloving, it is even more important for you to connect with love. Don't wait for the world to make it easy. Don't wait for others to behave as you wish. Don't wait for things to look exactly as you want. Open now, dear ones, to the supply of love that is here for you always, right here, right now. The moment you appreciate a single ray of sunshine, you are open to love. The moment you value the feeling of the floor supporting your feet, you're open to love. The moment you think of someone you care about, you are open to love. The moment you have a good wish for someone who is challenging, you are open to love. The moment you dream of a better world, you are open to love. You don't need to look for the monumental experiences of love. Choose the small ones, one after the next, and soon, dear ones, you will live in the endless supply of love. In this reality, all that you find spooky and scary will seem much like your little Halloween ghost as nothing to fear at all. In this reality, evil cannot touch you because you are focused only on the love beneath it all. God bless you. We love you so very much. Signed, The Angels. Here is, once again, another marvelous, inspiring piece from The Angels. The channel is Ann Albers. Her website is visionsofheaven.com. I won't be able to post the words below here, but you will be able to find Ann's fine work on the Sananda.website or voyagesoflight.blogspot.com or you can most certainly go to her own website, visionsofheaven.com for the words to this message and many other entertaining goodies are on her site. Recipes, photographs other ideas focusing on the theme we just talked about it's a delightful place to spend some time visionsofheaven.com i am julie joy your servant of the light thank you for allowing me to bring you this marvelous message from the angels <music>